Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming my memory spread and this is for the week of December 7th through the 13th. This is going to be my second Christmas spread of 2020 and for this week I'm going to be using this Christmas kit from Station Stickers. This is a gold foiled photo kit as you can see, it's super pretty and here we have the eight full boxes. We've got a ton of boxes and headers on this page and then this one has a weekend banner, some more half boxes and quarter boxes, some flags, sidebar trackers. We've got the bottom washi and some washi strips here, which have that same like confetti foiling on the full boxes. We also have a set of date covers here. And then the last page here has a ton of foiled icons. We've got the heart check flags and then all these like layering icons that are also foiled. Um, so it does come with, let's see, I think five different pages three are foiled and two are not. And um, with the Black Friday deal, I remember this being super affordable and just like a really great price point. So um, yeah, without further ado, I wanna go ahead and jump right in and let's go ahead and get started as usual by placing down my bottom washi. While I'm placing down the bottom washi, I just want to apologize in advance for some of the weird cuts that you guys are gonna see in this plan with me. Unfortunately, my filming setup right now is just not very ideal, and I was trying to like mess around with it and fix it so that my hair didn't get in the frame as much, and it totally backfired um, because it ended up getting more of my hair in the frame. So I tried to cut out as much as I could, and so it resulted in some strange edits um, that I hope you guys won't mind too much. I will continue to play around with my new setup and just trying to figure out something that will work better. Moving back to my spread, at this point I've placed down the bottom washi and most of my sidebar stickers, I believe. Um, some of the things that I pulled in for the sidebar headers are from Clever Gal Crafts and then from the icon sheet that came with the kit. As usual for my sidebar, I just track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And then for this week, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to use the date covers, so I decided to move on to Monday first. And for this spread, I chose to pull in some glitter headers from Mandy Dreams because it's been a while since I've used glitter headers and I really miss seeing them in my spread. On that half box, I used a coffee sticker from Peanut Butter Taco to mark that I had some coffee on that Monday morning. And then I used that gold foiled heart from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had no meetings, which is always very exciting. I placed down a full box at the bottom, and then on that quarter box, I used a meal icon from Hazel Sticker to mark what I had for lunch. I then used a hexagon icon from the kit and layered this shoe icon, which I believe is from Planning Like a Pro, to mark that I did a quick workout that day. I really didn't like the way that I wrote time. It just looked terrible in my opinion. So I lifted all of that up and rewrote it on a half box instead. In the remaining space, I used this really cute pink YouTube icon. Um, that was a sampler that I got, so I can't think of the shop off the top of my head, but if I remember, I will put it on the screen. On Tuesday, I first placed down my full box and my glitter header because I knew where I wanted those items, and then I go ahead and move back to the top. I first placed down a quarter box and I used this really cute glasses icon that was part of a sampler sheet from the Pretty Pink Co. And I used that to mark doing a testing appointment with a student that morning. I wanted to mark an IEP meeting, so I used one of the flags from the kit and I just wrote IEP inside of the flag to indicate the meeting. And then above that, I used a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark another meeting that I had. Moving back to the bottom of the day, I was super tired that day because I got home late. So I pulled in this really dramatic girl from Paper Bear Co. And then underneath that, I did a Zoom call with some of my friends. And to mark that, I used an arrow that came with the kit along with this phone icon from Panda Bird Designs, which I love using to mark all my FaceTime and my Zoom calls. I adjusted the icon a little bit, and then I go ahead and move on to Wednesday. The first thing I do is place down a full box at the very top. Um, some of the full boxes had foiling and others did not, so I chose to alternate the boxes so that I could switch it up every day. That's something that I take into consideration when building my spread um, and deciding which boxes to use. Underneath the glitter header, I used a quarter box and a laptop sticker. I believe that one is from Right Brain Paper Co. And I used that to mark a morning meeting that I had at work. 
I then had another IEP meeting, so I go ahead and mark it the same way as I did on Tuesday using a flag from the kit and just writing IEP in the center of the flag. And then on the half box, I had another IEP meeting later that afternoon. So I go ahead and pull in this laptop sticker, which I think was from the kit. And then this IEP meeting script sticker is from Hazel sticker. Underneath that, I used a flag from the kit and I used a YouTube icon. I believe that's from the Pretty Pink Co. I used that to mark editing a plan with me that night. And then I ended up sleeping really early on this day. I still remember I was just so tired. I think I was in bed by 7.30 and probably knocked out by eight. So it was definitely an early night for me, but I really, really needed that extra sleep. That really cute pillow sticker is from Happy Sherpa Papery. On Thursday, I first started by placing down a glitter header. Then I used a quarter box with this sad emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that our cat had a really, really bad seizure that morning. Um, I was lucky I was still in bed at the time, so I didn't have to witness it, but my boyfriend was there when it happened and he said it was so bad. Um, it was definitely her longest seizure ever and also the most intense. That was definitely really scary, so we pretty much got her on medication right away, like the following day, but continuing with Thursday, I placed down a full box at the very bottom and then I placed down stickers on top of that to block out space in my planner so I knew how many things I could add in the day. That three bow checklist I placed down, I believe is from Chic Blossom Prints, and I used that to mark some things that happened earlier in the day. I did upload a plan with me, so I used a YouTube icon. That one I believe is from the Pretty Pink Co. And then on the quarter box, I used the speech bubble icon, which is also from the Pretty Pink Co. to mark that I had a long chat with my boyfriend about what to do with Pokey, our cat, and that's when we decided to get her on the medication, even though um, it is something that she will have to take for the rest of her life. We just honestly felt like that was our best option. And then in the middle of the day, I had placed down that phone icon earlier. I believe that one is from my spoiled planner. And then that night I was really excited because Taylor Swift dropped her second surprise album of the year called Evermore. And I loved her folklore album. So I was really excited for this one as well. The heart sticker that I pulled in, I think that one is from Hazel sticker. And I use that to mark listening to the album on repeat for the rest of the night. On Friday, I started by placing down a full box in the middle, and then I moved to the top and placed down a half box. Um, that arrow sticker came in the kit. I think I cut off like the end of it so that it wasn't a like pointy flag arrow on the other end, if that makes sense. And that coffee icon I used is from Hazel Sticker. I use that to mark having my Friday coffee, which I always love getting to celebrate making it to Friday. I then marked an IEP meeting that I had using another flag from the kit and uh, marking it basically the same way that I did on, I think, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, and then moving to the bottom, underneath the full box, I had placed down that glitter header earlier. Then I used a quarter box and the shoe sticker from Paper Muse Crafts, I'm pretty sure. And I used that to mark doing a workout on a Friday evening. I ended up playing Stardew Valley for a while on my phone and the icon that I pulled in, I believe is from the kit. And then at the very bottom, I placed down a flag and used this super cute pill icon from a happy blue tree. I got those ages ago and haven't really had a chance to use them recently, but I used that to mark starting Pokey on her anti-seizure medication, um, which has been going really well and it's really helped her. So um, yeah, I'm really glad that we had made that choice. Onto the weekend, I first placed down the glitter headers where I knew I wanted them. And then I used a quarter box at the top of Saturday with an icon that came with the kit to mark that we got up early to feed Pokey her medication. So when we started it at this time, we were giving it to her three times a day eight hours apart, which is how it was prescribed. Um, so we were doing 6.30 in the morning, 2.30 in the afternoon, and then 10.30 at night. And oh my goodness, I can't tell you how exhausted we were for like weeks while we were on the schedule. And even though we switched off, um, like who was giving it to her, um, we would still like wake up when the other person got up or when the alarm rang. And so, I don't know, I honestly just felt like a zombie for so long because of that. But at the end of the day, all of the exhaustion is totally worth it. I ended up placing a full box at the top, so I replaced the quarter box in the middle of the day. Then underneath that, the hot cocoa sticker I used is from Hazel Sticker. 
I filmed a plan with me later that day, which I marked using this really cute YouTube bear from Olive Planner Co, I believe. And then at the very bottom, I had baked cookies that night while listening to Evermore. I pretty much just had the entire album on repeat that whole day. And that adorable baking mochi sticker is from Mochi Kichi. I used a three bow checklist from Chic Blossom Prints to mark some things from that day. And one of them was cleaning. So I pulled in this cleaning icon from the Pretty Pink Co. On Sunday, I first started by placing down a full box at the very bottom before I moved back to the top. I used a flag sticker and this tired mochi from Mochi Kichi to mark that I was up early again for Pokey's meds and I was just so tired, like I said, just felt like I was in zombie mode for weeks. Um, then I had to do laundry on Sunday, so I used a laundry icon that's from Hazel Sticker and I layered that over a hexagon icon from the kit. The grocery icon I placed down, I think is from Artbox Stickers, but her shop is currently closed. I did go to Target and Trader Joe's to pick up some groceries. And on the half box, I wanted to mark that I dropped off cookies for some of my friends um, just as a little holiday gift. And um, so I used a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts along with these little sparkle stickers that I had from the Pretty Pink Co. I then played Stardew Valley for a while that afternoon. So I used a quarter box and this phone icon I believe is from Pretty and Prim Co. And then the last thing that I wanted to mark was editing and recording a voiceover. I didn't like how my writing was so squished because of that sticker in the way. And so I removed everything and then I cut out a piece of the planner paper from a page that I wasn't going to be using. And I glued it right on top, essentially like whiting out my writing. I replaced that sticker and unfortunately I don't remember which shop that's from because I don't use them very often. And then I moved back to my sidebar to track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week. Once I'm done with that, I decided to add a little gold foiling to the top of my sidebar by placing down these really pretty like hanging bow icons from Sadie stickers. And I just thought that was like a really cute way to add some foil and just to decorate that top space. But oh my gosh, it took me so long to decide how I wanted to do it. And I kept playing around with it, moving them around until I finally had a setup that I was happy with. And then for the date covers, I decided not to use the ones that came in the kit because they were not foiled. And instead, I pulled in these days of the week stickers from Hazel Sticker. And the um, date dots I used are from, I believe those are from Nikki Plus Three. I'm really happy with how that turned out. So I'm really glad I found those in my collection. And once I'm done placing all of that down, I go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see the entire spread. And I just show you these stickers that I have left in the kit. Now I'm just doing a bib wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into this kit and also doing a walkthrough so you guys can see some of those foils and details a little bit better. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I love, love, love pink Christmas kits as I mentioned in the intro. I always make sure I have at least one kit that's pink when I do my Christmas season and this just came out so perfectly. I love these soft pinks and the photographs are just so beautiful and so reminiscent of the holiday. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, thank you for bearing with me as I'm playing catch up as always. And hopefully those like random edit cuts were not too aggravating. Um, I'm definitely going to, like I said, play around with my setup again and try to make adjustments to fix my videos. Um, anyways, thank you guys all so much. I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.